When I walked in, I was like, this is going to go down in history. What I like about it so much is that it's going to be documented. So years down the line, you'll be able to tell people, like, if you want to learn about ballroom, you can go to the Peabody. I'm super excited about the Peabody project because it shows how far we have came in ballroom. A lot of places that we are at now, at one point, we wasn't able to be. It's going to give inspiration. And it's inspired by books and history and very Edwardian, very uh, gothic. What I like about the ball is in the categories where it's off books, people have to do research. So when you're researching, you're doing what? You're reading the book and you're learning. The Peabody's a library, a source of information, a source of history, right? Ballroom is a place of history. You know, there's history in ballroom. There's knowledge in ballroom and stuff like that. So to combine the two was a, a great idea and it was a successful idea because it emulated what ballroom is. So I want to thank everyone again for coming tonight. This is an amazing, amazing event, an amazing turnout. If you know the history of this space, just like many other spaces, this space was not open to people that look much like ourselves, who were black for one and queer for a second, okay? And even women. So you look above us and you see this glass ceiling and we are breaking through glass ceilings tonight. The Peabody Library is partnering with Baltimore's ballroom community and together we are co-curating this event. The idea for the ball really was that it was a collaboration between the George Peabody Library and the ballroom community. Ballroom has a really long and storied history, uh, but one of the uh, things that's consistent about that history is uh, ballroom's ability to take elements from mainstream culture, even if they're based on you know, unfair privileges, and reinterpret and transform them. Um, I was able to uh, partner with the dance department here at the Peabody Institute to hire Marquise Clanton, uh, a really talented dancer who has led Vogue workshops globally at this point. One of the ways we went about co-curating uh, the ball was by organizing, you know, I think it was about five workshops. At those workshops, library curators were able to present uh, materials from the George Peabody Library. Um, then ballroom participants were able to kind of brainstorm and think about how we might interpret those materials through the kind of performance traditions of ballroom. And this is how we came up with the various competitive categories that are going to be the backbone of the ball. If I had to walk here, I probably would come with all kinds of uh, he wants things that look like books, magazines, um, um, just Make like. something made out of paper? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he Maybe. Wants, he wants them to be more creative. Projects, runway, you have to make something out of the materials at the library. Like, are any of these library. books? Um, that sounds pretty Yeah, cool. like, like look, at, look at the, the pictures of the library. Pull some inspiration from something like. You can know. only, you can only use that. You can, your outfit can only be made out of things found in the library. It's kind of like bizarre. Yes, like, yes, like bizarre yes. Outfit. You are what you read. So open to all runway. Um, you can draw a reference from this here library or you can draw a reference from any library. So what we want to see is creativity. You can bring any item found in the library. A book, newspapers, magazines, paper clips, markers. That is what Open to All Runaway is calling for. It is not broken down. There will be only one winner, one trophy, and you guys will just knock it out. What we're looking for is a person who is being creative and they're coming from a time 
which is the Gilded Age or the Victorian Age. But we want to see opulence that night. We want to see you bring it as a person of prestige, wealth, power. Um, this was a time during we had advanced technology being explored. We had textile. People were coming into power with money and we want to see a part of that tonight inside the library with your fashions. But we want to see an old aristocrat look with your common day fashion. The book that inspired this category um, is called Animal Locomotion by Edward Moybridge. This book inspired the idea for our Realist of a Twist category. Now what we're looking for for Realist of a Twist is an animal with a feminine twist. You can do a lion with barrettes, you can do a pussycat with a glittering collar, you can do a tiger with a tutu, etc., etc. But what we're mostly looking for is a show-stopping move. For Butch Queen Vogue Femme, we're referring to the battle between heaven and hell. This is a wonderful copper plate engraving uh, showing the uh, former angels, right, that are, are actually uh, devils, right, battling it out with uh, angels in heaven. This epic battle that happens uh, in Milton's Paradise Lost. In hell, we want to see variations of black, anything black, but we want you to be very creative. We want actually this category to represent a true battle inside and outside of this book itself. Executive, I like this category. Executive, oftentimes there's an argument in ballroom about what an executive looks like. And so in ballroom, the standard is a suit, a briefcase. Well, tonight, we don't want to see that. Tonight, we want to see your interpretation of an executive. So if you're an executive that's a surfer and you come with your surfing gear, it doesn't matter as long as you're showing us that you're trying to take over the Peabody Library. So show us a different type of executive. Um, I actually walked executive realness. It's natural to me, so it's a category that I, that I wake up and do every day. I'm a huge history buff, so as soon as I actually saw the Peabody, I was like, I don't know about this, so I actually want to know about it before I walk. So um, I just like indulged in just all the history surrounding the, like, the actual library. Um, I also work in higher education, so the fact that it's on John Hopson's campus, that like, really stuck out to me as well. So I just like, really like to immerse myself in my category. Um, I think that's very important when you walk executive realness because we have to like, portray that we like, really are professionals in the actual environment that we're in. So the fact that it was calling to bring it, to bring information about the Peabody experience, it actually charged me to take that extra step to do research. Yeah, 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 yeah.